Up a car. Yeah, man, you're good, Wade. Uh, trade plates or no? Oh, mate, this is sick, man. We, we're gonna put it straight into trade. Yeah, like, we that's can just fine. take a photo. Or... Yeah. That looks better than the E30 M3, in my opinion. When I drive off, even now, I need to put it into four-wheel drive if I want to drive it. If in you want to, if you want to, yeah, drive it in four-wheel drive. Oi! All right, brother. Just remember, let it warm up. Any other specials, man? Let me know, bro. We're back at the unit and I don't know what I've managed to insert in the intro but here she is the Volkswagen Mark II Golf G60 Rally that thing in real life looks unbelievable I don't care what any of you say that is one of the best cars that I have ever bought I mean the road presence the people looking look at those arches look at the side skirts it's such a stumpy wide boxy I mean for example check this out guys look we still have the E30 M3 here because the winner did take the cash alternative I mean 47 and a half grand that's big dog right but I mean look this is a special car I mean check out that the rear that looks crazy but although I love my beamers fanboy whatever you want to call me this is something else it's where it's got a shorter wheelbase it just looks even more mean but anyway yeah this is a homologation car there was only about 5,000 of these ever made worldwide only a handful of these would have been imported into the country you can barely find these for sale online especially in this condition i mean there's probably two of these for sale and they look like absolute dogs like this is in like a1 condition the owner uh, i know personally and he's got a lot of old school Porsches, a lot of old school BMs, got his E30 M3s. He is the type of person you want to buy a car from. You know that OCD where you just end up losing money? Like that's the kind of OCD this guy's got. Absolute mint condition. There's no rust, there's no scratches, it's clearly been detailed. Clear recent respray. These cars obviously four wheel drive from factory. They come with Volkswagen's all wheel drive system, which they call Synchro. So yeah, power does go to all four wheels, which is crazy. As mentioned, it's a homologation car, which means it was built for motorsport, specifically rallying. But yeah, look at the Compromotive Motorsport alloys. We've got AP Racing brakes. Of course, keeping in theme with my business, highly modified version. It's had an engine swap running 456 BHP. It's a fully built head block valves valves like every last thing you can do to an engine has been done it's got upgraded fuel pumps injectors swell put in the rear lithium battery check out the cabin yes it is stripped it is literally a race car we've got recaro pole precision bucket seats we've got alcantara steering wheel and of course you can imagine she is going to be extremely light so 456 horsepower the owner does claim that this thing weighs 980 kilos i think is what he said they're 1200 kilos from factory when they were released back in 1989 i think it was so you can only imagine how quick this thing is 980 kilos 456 horsepower turbocharged like audi tt style engine it is running a custom garrett turbo kit garrett gtx 3076 r for those of you that remember my f90 m5 i had two of those turbos on so it's running the exact same turbo very spread out power curve oem factory looking from the exterior and what a car somebody's gonna be winning this is just another level i mean look let's have a little look i'm not sure what i put in the intro but check it out man owner has gone to town custom plenum as i say built engine all done by a company called jtech you can see the turbo back there anyway i think that's enough waffle don't watch the hair lads i don't know what do you reckon you reckon i should keep the hair i'm not gonna lie missus is like you know what ricky you should grow out a bit i'm like you reckon swear down might just do it lads anyway 
let's jump in and see what this bad boy is like to drive. Champ. Mark 2 Golf Rally Business. Someone flying up my ass right now. <laughs> Look at this. Hear that turbo whoosh up front? GTX. Garrett turbocharger. Sounds lovely, very easy to drive. I drove it back yesterday, probably did a little tiny bit of driving content and I already know how to drive this car, like, perfectly. Some cars take a little more getting used to, especially an older car. But as I may have mentioned in the intro, this is no longer probably Anything to do with a G60, obviously these are supercharged from factory. Let's give you a second gear. Yeah, boy. Oh, she feels nice and light. Oh man, it feels proper corner weighted and balanced. Given many cars uh, that are like track ready, and I'm getting that immediate feeling from this car. I almost, almost like a touring car. That is the best description I can give you. It just feels so balanced, man. Like central, like I can let go of the wheel and it's gonna say dead straight. And it's surfing these roads lovely as well. Six speed manual transmission. Let's give it a third gear, cause why not? Boy. Gear shifter's nice and light. Not like your typical BM transmission, which is notchy and probably feels a bit more robust. This could be from an Audi TT, some sort of modern Golf. And of course, this car being four wheel drive, we have not got any horrendous. Whoa. We haven't got any horrendous torque steer that you'd get from like these Mark II GTIs or VR6. So yeah, this has had cams, like everything you can do to these modern VW engines has literally been done to this car. So it's a little choppier than usual. You have to warm it right up before taking it out. So you have to let it run for about 10, 15 minutes, let it get up to temps. Um, man, I can't even express to you the work that has gone into this car. Obviously you'll know these cars are expensive anyway, but this car was bought from the, per so the person I bought the car from, he bought it from somebody who'd already done around 30,000 pounds. He then done a further 15,000 pounds, finishing everything off. It's got custom wiring loom. This is a rebuilt transmission. Let's go second. Oh. We've got the ECU master speedo here as well. You can see all your temps. What have I got? IATs, my boost pressure. So everything's here. We've got warning chimes as well. So if the car detects anything is up, it will pull it into some kind of limp mode. You press this button here and it will log the fault. You can contact the tuner. This car comes with a huge folder full of information, like all of the original email conversations to for the work that was gonna get done. Yeah, 
here driving position in this is perfection man if you like driving this car set right up rev matching as well look at look at this <laughs> Handling is like another level. Like you will not expect something like this to handle the way it does. And just something to note as well, I've driven a lot of four wheel drive cars, especially modified ones. And once you start to reach higher power to weights, you do also feel a bit of torque steer. This isn't limited just to front wheel drive cars. This car pulls dead straight. But when I have my 720S, you don't realize what corner weighting and, 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 and balancing and setting up a car can actually do to the drive. You, know, you feel like you're driving a car that is perfect anyway, but honestly, there's so much more that can be done. There's no fight in this wheel. So, I mean, even under acceleration, as I say, obviously front wheel drive cars would have torques here, but look at this, it's just second gear. Boy. She's moving. <laughs> We've got this guy in his BM in front. Looks like a 335i. And tickets are, if you're not aware, if you are new, this is on my website, lfgames.com. Tickets are literally 35p. And there will be a huge cash alternative, £30,000 if you do not want the car and let me tell you if the winner don't take this car i am going to give away the e30 m3 and this g60 rally someone's going to win both of them cars together i might race this 335i quick lucky boy Fucking explosion! Also, if you notice, the gear shifter is in the perfect position right beside the steering wheel. You can see this column that's been built and the transmission sitting right here. You can almost use it as an armrest. Not having a full interior takes a little bit away. The performance is definitely worth it. Like, you, you've lost a good two 250 kilos because of it i've got a one series right now which is going to be looking just like this inside i'm debating on whether to do the cage or not uh, i mean as of now i'm not doing the cage but you know the the performance that we're looking at i think it could be a, a wise thing the only problem is by putting the cage in you're adding weight you could have a more rigid and of course more importantly safer car but weight reduction bro perfectly matched you don't usually get that spread out power it feels so light on its feet man one of my favorite aftermarket wheels for the turning man it's not like razor sharp but it just does the job like See that look lag 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 or that's on I knew it was your car end this video because we're having a bit too much fun and this should be reserved for the new owner
I'm going and taking all the fun. It's not fair, is it, lads? <laughs> but anyway, 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 as mentioned already, the car's on the website. Tickets are 35p. If you don't want the car, or should I say, if you are the winner and you don't want the car, there is a £30,000 cash alternative at leftgames.com ticket link in the description also want to say a massive thank you for 100,000 subscribers took a little while but of course you'll know i've not really been uploading much anyway till next time